Good morning and welcome once again to Lent with Evelyn Underhill. My name is Rev James and I am reading to you from this book each day this in this season. This one is called The First Sunday of Lent and God and Self-Love. For God, not man, the first term of religion and our first step in religion is the acknowledgement that he is all else is the unfolding of those truths about his life and our life, which this fact of facts involves. I believe in one God. We begin there, not with our own needs, desires, feelings or obligations. Were all these abolished, his independent splendour would remain. as the truth which gives its meaning to the world. So we begin by stating with humble delight our belief and trust in the most concrete, most rich of all realities, God. Yet even the power to do so reflects back to him and witnesses to his self-giving to the soul. For Christianity is not a pious riviere, a moral system of fantasy life. It is a revolution or a revelation adapted to our capacity of the realities of which control life. Those realities must largely remain unknown to us, limited little creatures that we are. God, as Brother Giles said, is a great mountain of corn from which man, like a sparrow, takes a grain of wheat. Yet even that grain of wheat, which is as much as we can carry away, contains all the essentials of our life. We are to carry it carefully and eat it gratefully, remembering with awe the majesty of the mountain from which it comes. The first thing this vast sense of God does for us is to deliver us from the imbecilities of religious self-love and self-assurance and sink our little souls into the great life of the race, in and upon which this one God in his mysterious independence is always working, whether we notice it or not. When that sense of his unique reality gets dim, and stodgedly we must go back and begin there once again, saying with the psalmist, All my fresh springs are in thee. Man, said Christ, is nourished by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Not the words we expect or persuade ourselves that we have heard, but those unexpected words he really utters, sometimes by the mouths of the most unsuitable people, sometimes through apparently unspiritual events, sometimes secretly within the soul. Therefore, seeking God and listening to God is an important part of the business of human life. And this is the essence of prayer. We do something immense, almost unbelievable, when we enter that world of prayer. For then we deliberately move out towards the transcendent being whom Christianity declares to be the one reality. A reality revealed to us in three ways as a creative love, a rescuing love, an indwelling and all-pervading love. And in each of those three ways, claiming and responding to our absolute trust. Prayer is the give and take between the little souls of men and that threefold reality. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.